friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a video that is all about dinner and we are making three meal prep friendly vegan dinner recipes that are healthy, easy to make, and delicious. So all three of these recipes are up on the blog as always. You can find those links down in the description box. And they are all, as I said, vegan, vegetarian, they have a lot of protein, they have a lot of vegetables, and two of them are like really cozy and nourishing, great for fall and winter. One of them is a salad, which is still delicious and perfect for fall and winter, but even better if you are somebody that's looking to have more greens or anything like that in your diet. So I know you're gonna love them and I can't wait for you to make them. But before we dive in, I do just like to invite you to subscribe if you are not yet part of our community here on YouTube, you can click the red button that is right below this video that says subscribe and that will subscribe you and you'll be part of this awesome community. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive in to today's new recipes. Okay, so we are kicking things off with our mason jar salad. Here are the ingredients. We are going to have a tahini dressing as the base. I will link some of my favorites down below. And then we're basically just gonna layer on. So I like to do the proteins first, so chickpeas here, and then all the veggies. We're doing red bell peppers, carrots, cucumber, red cabbage. And then I finish everything off with the greens on top. And the reason for that is that number one, you keep the dressing and greens separate so that you don't have any soggy greens. And number two, when you see here that I'm pouring it out into my bowl, the greens are on first, everything else that goes on top of the greens goes on top of the greens. And then the dressing, which is at the bottom of the jar, is on top of the whole salad and you're able to eat it just like you would a regular salad. So it's the perfect way to pack it and this salad is absolutely delicious. If you love creamy dressings, you're going to love this salad. And of course, all of the veggies are interchangeable. I just wanted to make it beautiful and rainbow and vibrant and colorful, which is why I chose the ones I did. And it's delicious. Next, we have our nourishing white bean stew. We are gonna start with olive oil in a pan follow that up with some shallots and garlic, and we're gonna saute that with our mushrooms until everything is nice and soft, and the mushrooms have cooked down a bit and have released some of their liquid. From there, you will add in some chopped sun-dried tomatoes, as well as some white beans. You could also use chickpeas. Some crushed tomatoes, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, some tomato paste, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper and give that a stir until it's combined and then we are gonna add in some water. So I basically just fill the 28 ounce can that I just had with the tomatoes in it with water. So I ended up using about two cups of water for this recipe. Stir it all together until the water is combined and then we are going to bring this up to a boil. Once it is boiling, you can turn it down, reduce it to a simmer and we're gonna simmer this for about an hour. You don't have to cook it quite that long but the benefit is that it's really gonna help develop the flavor and it's gonna be kind of thick and again super flavorful so I recommend letting it sit for that long once you are ready to serve it you can just serve it up right away and I love to actually put the quinoa directly on top of the stew I don't know why it just like works really well with a spoonful of quinoa and the stew you could serve the stew over the quinoa or you could stir the quinoa into the stew or you could leave the quinoa off, it's up to you. But either way, you can totally meal prep this, like I said, and you could also freeze it if you'd like. Last but not least, we have our red tofu curry, and we are going to start with some coconut oil in our pan. Once the coconut oil has melted, you can add in garlic and shallots, as well as some grated ginger. Stir that together until the garlic and shallots are soft, the ginger is fragrant. We're gonna add in our red curry paste. I just use store-bought red curry paste. The brand that I like is vegan, so I will link that down below for you. And then you're gonna add two cans of coconut milk. I usually do one can of full-fat coconut and one can of light coconut milk. It's up to you. You could do two light, two full-fat, yeah, up to you. From there, you will add in your tamari as well as your sweet potato, and we are gonna just cook this for a little bit until the sweet potato has cooked maybe about like five or 10 minutes. And then you can add in the rest of your veggies. So we're gonna add in carrots, as well as some broccoli florets, red pepper, and these are hearts of palm, optional, but they're in traditional curries, and I think they're delicious, so I would recommend it. 
And we're going to finish things off with crispy tofu, which I shared how to make on the channel a few weeks ago. So I'll link that down below for you. You also could just do extra firm tofu or tempeh if you wanted. And you are just going to cook this for another few minutes until all of those veggies soften. Takes maybe another 10 minutes or so. And to finish it off, I love to stir in some fresh spring onions. It just adds a nice little bite. And for serving, I honestly just like to serve this with white jasmine rice. It's just traditional with curry and I love white rice with it. You could do any sort of grain you wanted or you could just eat it as is. I also finish it with some cilantro and sesame seeds, but this was seriously so good. If you love red curry, you are gonna love this recipe and it's super simple to make too, which is fabulous. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our delicious vegan dinner recipes. As you can see, these are all pretty easy to make. They do take a little bit of time just because some of them cook longer on the stove, but they are great for meal prep. They will last you all week long in the fridge, and you can also freeze the two soups slash stews. The salad, obviously, you can't freeze that, but it works really well for whether you're on the go or if you're like traveling or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you do wanna make any of them, you can find those links right down below in the description box. They are up on the blog and ready for you. And I think that's all I have. I do have a bunch of other dinner ideas, so if you're looking for even more meal prep or vegan dinner recipes, I will link some playlists down below for you. And otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. As always, you guys are the absolute greatest. I love spending time with you here every single week, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you are new here and you are not yet part of this amazing community, I would love for you to join us and subscribe. You can find a red button right below this video that says subscribe. All you gotta do is tap that button and that will subscribe you. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.